This is a high energy pendulum hammer impact test apparatus. This is a pendulum. And there is a drop height of 200 to 500 on the dial. This hand knob is used to adjust the upper and lower limits. Next, let us start to install. Use this box as a specimen. First, install the fixture. This hanging rod is 2J. Install a 2J hammer here. You can adjust the position of the hammer rod here. If the position of the hanging rod can't be adjusted forward. and the hammer can t-touch the specimen. We can fix two baffles behind the sample. Then the position of the sample is moved forward. If the hammer is too low, we can adjust rotation counterclockwise to increase the position of the hammer head. When adjusting to the hammering position, slowly move the hanging rod until the hammer just touches the specimen. Then, fix the hanging rod. Next, adjust the hammer rod to a drop height of 200. If the pointer is lower or higher than the 200, we can adjust here. until the pointer is just at the 200 tick mark. The installation is complete. Loosen the pendulum and the test starts. After the impact is completed, hold the pendulum with your hands to prevent secondary impact.
if we need to do other energy tests. We can use a thicker hanging rod. These are the corresponding test weights. Now, replace the hammer rod with this thick one. Fix the dial. Then replace the hammer we need. The hammer has 10 J. 20 J. Note when installing the hammer. Pass the hammer rod from the side with the larger opening to the side with the smaller opening. Then tighten the screws. This operation method is the same as above. The current scale is 200. We adjust it to 300. After aligning the scale, fix the hammer rod. Loosen the pendulum and the test starts. After the impact is completed, hold the pendulum with your hands to prevent secondary impact. 